In this video, we will be discussing importing instruments, also known as symbols. Instruments can be imported directly into a watch list from a comma separated values CSV file and is available with the Google Yahoo, Bar Chart, IQ Feed, and Interactive Broker workspaces. The format of this file is flexible. Each line in the file must contain, at a minimum, a symbol, but may also contain the following separated by commas. Symbol, exchange symbol, instrument type such as stock, index, cash, or future. The currency listed with the ISO acronym such as USD for US dollars, EUR for Euro, and GBP for pound sterling. A minimum tick value which is usually 0.01 for most stocks. A title of the instrument along with a description of the instrument. By default, the order of the fields in the file is as follows. Symbol, exchange, type, currency, minimum tick, title, and description. Now let's take a look at some examples. In this example, this CSV file only has symbols and exchange. Now you'll notice that in half the file, the exchange is not used. So let's take a look how that translates into Motive Wave once imported. So let's go over to Motive Wave. And I'd also like to show you our present instrument list in Motive Wave. So right now we only have two symbols. Anything that is imported into the watch list will then be also added to our local database and the symbols will also show here and can be uh, used for future watch lists or for pulling up charts or for any other symbol related uh, functions. So let's bring in import instruments. Let's select the first example. Okay, so now you'll notice that half the list had some, an exchange associated with it in the file where the other half didn't. So that won't show. And again, the minimum requirement is at least a symbol. Okay, so let's take a look at the other example. Okay, in this example, we have the first line of the CSV file is a header which lists the column names. So symbol, exchange, type, currency, minimum tick, and title. So for example, the first line, the, the symbol would be CAC with the NASDAQ exchange. It's a type of a stock. Its currency is US dollars with a minimum tick of 0 0.01, and it's Camden National Corporation. So let's bring this in to Motive Wave. If we go over here, watch list, import, add, and now we select that specific CSV. You'll notice that those four are now imported into the watch list. And if we take a look at our configure instruments, now our list includes all the additional symbols that we've imported. Okay, so that concludes this video.